Hello, and welcome back to my Ultima 4 playthrough series. We are still on our way to Empath Abbey to try to track down the Mystic Armor in the Oak Grove. So let's get to it. Uh, we're making our way. We're fighting lots of things, and we are getting lots of gold. Oh, lava lizards. Once again, I'm just moving forward to engage them before... They do a lot of damage to us when we can't fight back. It's kind of unfair, but it's like the diagonal attack. Well, they have both. Diagonal attack and they can they can um, attack us when we cannot attack them. You know, and, and for those advantages, we repay them with death. That's a fair trade, I think, right? All right. 24 gold. <laughs> Three more gold and we're over a thousand. Beauteous. All right, I need to take a look at the map. For, well, first of all, let me see where we are. We're at G and C. Isn't that where it was the last time I did stuff? Last last, last episode? So we are at G and C. So we are at G and C. So we're... Man, I don't feel like we gotten very far. All right, we got to get around all these lakes and crap to head further north because we need to get up to C. And we're at G. So, yeah, we got to get around these these stupid lakes or rivers. All right. So, let's go down here. Oh, dear God. Really? Really? We can't get there from here? That's what it looks like. All right. We're going to have to retrace our steps, it looks like. And we're going to have to go up on the other side of the mountains and then go through the path that kind of leads from Lord Britain's area to um, to uh, the, I think it's what, the dark forest or deep forest area that the, uh, the Empath Abbey is near. That's annoying. At this point, I'm kind of thinking, should I should I have gotten a ship and taken a ship? I mean, I got a metric buttload of of ships, but at the same time, I'm gonna I'm gonna be over a thousand gold pieces here, so that's excellent news. Excellent news indeed. Now, if I wanted to get, say, a thousand food. Uh, he moved out of the way. All right, I gotta, I gotta realign that line. And it's, I think the cheapest price is like twenty per pack. So it's per pack of twenty five. So it's um, four packs per hundred. So that'd be forty packs. So twenty times forty would be eight thousand. Am I doing that math right? Or 800? I think it's 800. Hmm, I don't know. I, 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 it's, I can't combat math at the same time. All right, he's fleeing. All right, good. 74 gold. I feel like the monsters around here have, um, you know, they're, they're, um, their payments, they must got a raise or something. You know, I'm not quite sure who pays monsters, but I feel like they've had more more gold on them of late. We've been getting better stuff, so I'm not complaining. Believe you me, I am not complaining, but I think I missed having Iolo shoot when he could have shot. All right. Let's see. Oh, Julia's got a shot. Come on, Shamino. And I'll just stay where I am. That way, if he comes down to engage in a more melee fashion... Because that's what they have to do. All they have is their claws. All right. 54 gold. Beautiful. 
We're at 1100. All right, good. All right, so we got three wizards and then our mages and then our the 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 Britannia's favorite mercenary troops, the demons. Or in this case, one demon. All right. Let's get her done. I'm going to come over here. You guys can attack. Come over, Julia. Bring you down. Bring you over. And again, you know, the demon puts himself in a position where he's pretty much, you know, right now he's, he's, He's using the train so that we can't hit him. You know, it's as if you're a career soldier. That's just smart. But at the same time, if you're hiring somebody to fight with you and you're paying them real gold, and, and meanwhile you and your crew are just in it for uh, you know whatever they can hopefully get off of our dead bodies. I mean, I'm assuming mercenaries have to be paid first. If I was a mercenary, I'd certainly want some coin up front before I went to battle. But, uh, you know, so if you're paying coin and then here this guy's going to only start to get in the battle when all or most of your group is already dead, like that, <laughs> and like that, I could see where um, that might cause me to leave a... Uh, poor Yelp review. Of course, if I'm dead, <laughs> it's hard to leave a Yelp review. So, maybe it's, this is just like a scam for them. Of course, they also don't flee. Now, if they were fleeing as soon as they got there, that would really tell us something. Yeah, 61 gold. Nice. All right. We'll go up. We'll follow the mountains. And we'll find that pass again. Dear God. Two episodes. Here's the pass. Go away, Mr. Cyclops. I mean, I could fight you. I mean, I'm not scared of Mr. Cyclops. But at the same time, I'm, I kind of just want to get to the Abbey. Let's get something done. <laughs> I kind of feel like I haven't gotten anything done but kill a lot of things. Which isn't all bad. I mean, I'm at almost 1,200 gold. That's uh, a little bit of all right. But... Uh, at the same time, you know, we have quests and things to try to get done. So let's let's be about the business of being about the business, if you will. All right, come on, dude. Get someplace where we can stab you with our flying sticks. All right. And we have more bandits. 33 gold. Eh. All right. And there's the Abbey. All right, I might as well kill this guy because otherwise he's just going to be here when I get out. So let's get rid of these bozos. Oh, one hit. Love it. I need to, uh, with all this with all this killing we're doing, I need to, um, I need to look at my uh, stats. Maybe when we get inside of Empath Abbey do that and see how close I am to 64. Did we even hit that guy? I don't know that we did. All right. Uh, I think I'll stay where I am. That way I can flank. I might go up one. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. And then I think you two are going to stay put. Dupree can come over here. You're fleeing. I and mean, he's fleeing off that way, huh? Uh, hello, you're killing me. All right, good. That guy's fleeing. Wow. That guy flees like an Atten. Or, or not, not an Atten. A Nixie. That's what I was thinking of. Nixie. I want to see if I can get this guy that's fleeing. Oh, no, I can't. All right, I'm going to... We're going to go down and keep our distance. If he wants to flee, we'll let him flee, I guess. All right. All right, that's one gone. 
Oh, I think that other guy's fleeing too. Doesn't matter, we still get your gold. Or at least the gold of your dead comrades. That guy's fleeing now too. All right, I'm gonna come over, come over. That guy's gonna flee. The guy on the lo on the right. Yep. There we go. Alrighty then. Eighty-two gold. Wow, thirteen hundred gold. Beautiful. That is gorgeous. All right, let's enter the castle. Empath Abbey. Let me look at my stats. I can level up to level eight. I really want to go get our last companion, but at the same time, I want to do the mystic stuff. Ugh. Maybe we'll do the mystic stuff and then we'll make it back down to Lord British because, um, yeah. All right, let's get out of this. Let's, so, so, so notes. Let's take a peek at our notes. So, oh yeah, this is the, lies in the center of the Oak Grove. And if I remember correctly, the Oak Grove is off of the throne room. So let's see if we can remember where the heck that is. I think it was up like this direction. Is it Jimmy a lock? Yeah, right here. I'm glad I bought some more of those. I should probably look. So in the center. So the Oak Grove goes like from there to there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to If I have to, I'll search this whole stinking thing. I mean, I would consider this area the center, right? Mystic armor, beautiful. All right. Weapons, mystic, mystic robe. Oh, I can wear a robe, and I and I'm just in cloth. I've noticed that on my miscellaneous info that, um, you know, I am just in I am just in cloth. I've got everybody, everybody in leather. I think it is, but me. Okay, beautiful. Actually, let's back this up. So let me see what everybody's wearing. Katrina's leather. Joffrey's leather. Let's see. So Dupree is in chainmail. Yeah, and everybody else is in leather, except for me, I'm in cloth. All right, so let's wear, wear armor for me, the mystic robe. All right, do we have like a DT or something? It doesn't really tell me. Strength, 26, 48, 39. Doesn't increase my maximum hit points. 26, 48, 76, 26, 48, 39. I'm just curious if it boosts any of my stats. So I'm going to actually put my cloth back on for a second. And then I'm going to look at my stats again. 78, 26, no, so it doesn't do anything. Okay. Where? Mystic robe. And then I'm going to do, we have eight mystic robes. Holy hell. So one for everybody. All right. I don't, uh, these probably have to be better than, than armor, right? Which means we're probably going to get eight mystic weapons. All right, so where, what are we up to? Mystic robes, where, five. Six, H, where, for seven, H. All right, so now we should all be in mystic robes. Right. Hmm, and we have one mystic robe left. Well, excellent. That is excellent. All right. Yeah, I didn't necessarily, you know, like I said, I didn't really think that that was going to be um, something that, 
that we were, it was going to be for the whole group, but I'm glad it is. I'm glad it is. And hopefully the, the mystic weapons are going to just be kick ass and we can do lots of one shotting, at least, you know, orcs and, and little stuff like that. So we were going to, there was, let's uh, swap the notes real fast. Go back to miscellaneous info. No, go back to magic. Yeah, let's go to you and see if we can find Columbi and find out about Mandrake. So you, we got to go, we got to go west and a little bit north. All right, let's see if we can get that done. We'll do that on the way to getting a a, a, a new ship so we can get over to Serpent Castle and get the Mystic armor. So, oh, mages. All right, well, you know, if you have a death wish, who are we? to not help you out. We will be your personal Kevorkian. Because you are dying of a terminal disease. It's called being stupid enough to attack us. <laughs> guys heavily wounded already. That one's gone. That guy fleeing? He's heavily wounded. He's not f officially fleeing, but I always get suspicious when they're when they're hovering around the border there. It's like you know, are they? Oh no, here he comes. He's starting his attack run. Stay on target. Still heavily wounded. That guy's got a little bit of HP going for him. Or these guys took like a, a whatever the Ultima equivalent of buff out might be, you know, to use a little Fallout lore. There we go, critical. There we go. Fleeing. Still fleeing. Dead. All right, guys. Come on, come and get us. How about you? How are we doing on health? We're not too bad. I might go ahead and have us hold up in camp. Maybe we'll do that like when we reach you before we go into the town. Just to get our health. Get everybody topped up. Beautiful. 80 gold. Wow. This has been amazingly lucrative yeah we want to get these guys as quickly as we can beautiful I think what I'm going to have him do is and I might have Iolo join him. It's kind of range off to the side here, but come up where we can start hitting them as they get closer. You know what I mean? I mean, we may not need it. I don't know, but it can't hurt. He's fleeing. Yeah. I have a feeling I'm going to get him in the position, but they aren't going to really be in a position able to do anything. Whoops. Well, that was a waste of move. Heavily. Fleeing. Gone. All right. Let's have those two guys there. So if they, get, if they start getting close, we can uh, hit them from the side. Like right now. Except when we miss. Fleeing already, nice. And what's nice here is that Iolo is still lined up for a shot. Yeah. Surprisingly tough. Now that guy's fleeing. 
or not. All right. Oh, adds a trap. Okay, six to six gold. All right. Guys, turn. I'm just trying to get to you. <laughs> I mean, I'm appreciating you know the size of our purse right now, but at the same time, I just kind of want to get there. I just kind of want to get there. You know. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right. I am using a sling. Did I buy everybody a bow but me? Really? <laughs> I thought everybody, including me, had bows. Oh, I'm a moron. Maybe I can't use a bow because I'm a because I'm a mage. That could be because I I can't like wear leather either. I mean I think I could wear robes, obviously. Um, I think there were some other things I could get that I could wear, but I can't wear any of the kind of normal um, classes of of armor like you know chainmail and leather and all that nonsense because mages don't wear that. So maybe I couldn't use a, a bow. I don't know that I want to buy one just to find that out. All right, good job. Oh, bother. Sorry, Katrina, we'll get you next time. Or not. All right, come on, guys. Lightly wounded. Yeah, we can't hit him now because of the rocks. We can hit this guy. He, and he's fleeing. Somebody just left the battlefield. All right, and then there was one. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. I think you're out of it. All right. Oh, that's right. I can't go over there. There's rocks there. There we go. I think this is... We've got everybody lined. <laughs> Did all that just to... Oh, dear God. Ugh. And there was something behind these guys. And I need to look at our look at our location and see how close we are to you. We can't be too far. We can't be too far, but you know we got to have half a second here where we can um, do something besides kill these stupid monsters that want to die on our uh, on the tip of our arrows. Alright, so the headless must have been on top. I forget what those things are with the with the There's some sort of a supernatural creature, but I don't remember what they are. I guess we'll see when we hit it. Like Julia is not gonna do right now. Phantom. Oh, okay. I'm guessing they're ranged. I mean, they're uh, melee. Since they've got a sword. I think the headless are melee. I could be wrong, but I think... All right, well, the phantom is gone. Mm -hmm. 
Fleeing? Still fleeing? Ah, meant to move him up. I got impatient. Oh, come on, Iolo. There we go. All right. Where are we located? We are at C and D. So let's go to the map. So you is at C and D. <laughs> All right, so I just got to be, I thought it was close. Oh, 74, okay. All right, that's too far. There it is, dear God. You know what, I think we're gonna stop here. Uh, we'll stop this episode here and um, we will enter you and see if we can find Columni and find out about Mandrake and then we'll go north and get our ship and head towards Serpent Castle. But I have to thank you for, and then we'll probably have to kill these guys, but I'm not going to sweat them right now. And in fact, I think what I will do is I'm going to enter the town now. So we don't have to deal with them. We'll deal with them when we come out. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you come back for the next one. And until then, be seeing you.